Hello again. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So, GRTC videos, your daily supply of solutions to engineering problems. Again, if you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified every time we have new videos. Okay? So, in this video, we will discuss a rectangular footing with moment. Okay, may moment. No? So, I hope nakita nyo yung isang, verse, isang footing, yung previous na, na part, there are four parts of that, uh, four or three parts ba yun? Okay, so that is square footing but subject to axial load only. So, yung una, din part 1 on, we discuss only net and gross pressures. Alright? Now, same here, we will discuss pero rectangular footing ito. Rectangular footing. Okay? Subject to uh, axial load and moment. Okay? Ang catch lang dito, yung column, wag na hindi natin ilalagay sa, sa gitna. Okay? So, we will be solving soil pressure muna tayo. The gross and the net soil pressure para one step at a time tayo ha okay ito yung ating uh, figure okay so bakit ba may ganitong klaseng footing well of course uh, if you know if your footing or if your column uh, alam mo na may moment siya malaking moment siya no so ba ito may moment siya aka galing from the column load malaking moment siya uh, ideally wag mong ilagay doon sa gitna yung yung column mo Kasi mas lalak mas lalong lalaki yung eccentricity niya, no? Kasi magkakaroon siya ng ano, para yung design ng paano ng tao, di ba? How is our foot design? Saan ba yung ano, di ba mahaba dito banda? Iisipin niyo ito yung ito yung paa mo, ganun-ganun. Kasi yung possible moment mo going in that direction, this is enough length para ma-counter niya yung effect ng moment. Okay? So here the the footing is 2.5 meters and then 3.5 meters yung B. The column is situated 1 meter from the short side. 1 meter. The column size is 450 mm by 600 mm. Okay? Depth of footing below the grade is 2.2 meters. And then uh, the thickness, sorry. The thickness of the footing is uh, 0.7 meter. Unit weight of concrete and the soil are unit gamma yan, ha? Hindi NY. Gamma soil and the gamma concrete. Okay? So the load are, the given loads here are service loads. Again, if you are analyzing uh, soil pressure, do not use the factored load. Gagamitin mo lang yung factored load kung magdi-design ka na ng concrete. Kasi we have to use the load factors. Dito kung soil ka, you want to know kung kaya ba ng soil yung load from a putting, do not use load factors. Unless, unless the code requires uh, may applicable load factor to be applied for that. Pero ideally, wala. No? Talagang working lang talaga tayo. Okay? So, P natin is 1,300. Meron siyang moment na 325 kilonewton meter. So, paano to gawin? Paano to gawin? Ano ba yung first step dito? Baka iniisip nyo agad, gagamitin nyo yung P over BL, P over A plus and minus 6M over B or LB squared or BL squared, whatever. Okay, and then ito yung gagamitin nyo na M. Na? Baka iniisip nyo na yun, ha? Uh, iniisip nyo na yung formula na P over area, P over area, and then 6M over LB squared. Okay? So, are you thinking like that? Okay? So, maybe some of you, oh, sir, parang yun na nga. Okay. Tingnan nyo, ha? What we are analyzing here, the loaded area is not the column. The loaded area is the footing. Our subject is the footing. So, dapat yung moment mo is from the center of the footing. Remember, itong moment na yan ay sa column yan. Galing yan ng column. That is not the moment pa of the footing from the center. So, yung first step dito, kunin natin yung... Okay, P, no question. Meron na tayong P. 1,300. Kunin natin yung moment sa center ng footing. Okay? Sa centroid ng ating footing. Ito yung centroid ng ating footing. Ito yung axis. No? X-axis and the Y-axis. Alright, of course, the bending here, wala sa X. Kasi yung load natin is nasa X. Yung P, understood yan, nandito. So, yung bending natin ay nasa Y axis. So, kukunin natin yung bending of the footing about its centroidal Y axis. So, what causes the moment about that? Okay? 
So kunin natin. So we need to compute the eccentricity of P from the center. Ah, so 3.5 meters yung B natin. Kalahati ng 3.5 is 1.75. Okay? Ito yung center ng column. Center ito ng column. Alright? So that's uh, 300 mm from here. And then, uh, okay? So ito ay 300 or 0.3 meters. So how much is this? So 1.75 divided minus 1.3. So this is 0.45 meter. Okay? Laro na. So, yun yung P, location of P, galing sa centroidal y-axis of the footing. So, makukuha na natin yung moment at the centroid, at the centroidal y. So, number one, let us just use the, uh, the sign convention na lang, clockwise plus counterclockwise minus para ma-imagine natin. Uh, your M is clockwise. Uh, clockwise rotation about the center. So, that will be M. And then, minus yung P natin is pag ganito yung moment niya. Minus P times 0.45. Guess nyo? Ayan. Okay. Well, kung zero yan, then good. Kung zero yan, meaning your soil pressure is uniform. Ha? So your M is uh, 325 minus 1,300 times 0.45 and that is negative 260. May moment siya. Ha? May moment at the centroidal y-axis of the putting. Kasi kung zero yan, oh, nandito yung P natin, so act Centric. No? Uniform yung soil pressure. So here, hindi sa uniform. Okay? So ibig sabihin, yung loading natin can now be replaced. Itong dalawa na yan, kasi column yan eh. Kung kulin na natin yung load of the footing base, ito na yan. Ayan, tinanggal ko ha. Ito yung P and the M is going on this direction. Kuha nyo? Okay. Well, had the footing kung yung column sana nasa gitna, then we don't need to do this anymore. No need na. Kasi yung, kung nasa gitna yung column doon sa gitna mismo ng puting, then yung M doon column na yun, yun na rin yung M at the center of the puting. I hope you got the difference. Okay? So, meron na tayong moment. Alright? So, well, bago natin i-proceed, tinan natin muna kung meron ba itong uplift. Okay? O, kunin natin yung eccentricity. So, with the known moment and P, makuha natin yung eccentricity. Alright, so that is the moment divided by the load, P. So that's 260 divided by 1,300. So that's 0.2 meter. So meaning yung eccentricity kasi dito yung ating, ano, no? dito yung ating moment, pag ano, nandito siya, 0.2 meter. Alright? Now, the maximum eccentricity na hindi makakaroon na uplift, no? we know it is B over 6. Well, again, sa review, dinilisk ka sa amin to. Now, dito, hindi natin mano kasi by problem lang tayo. Ha? By the way, invite ko kayo, no? If you are interested to join ta sa online review namin, meron kaming, doon talaga lahat ng principle i-discuss namin. So, yun. Ito, patikim lang to, no? Pero ganito na yung mga slides namin na ginagamit. Okay. So, B over 6. Alright? So, your B over 6 is 3.5 over 6, that's 0.583. O malayo. Ha? The actual eccentricity is 0.2, kaya within, within B over 6 siya. So, wala siyang uplift. Walang uplift. So, ibig sabihin, walang uh, tension, no? I walang tension na ikukos yung ating net. Uy, by the way, ha? We are only considering here the load from the column. Hindi ko na mention kanina. Hindi natin sinali yung weights ng soil at saka concrete. Okay. So, ano ba yung makukuha natin dito? Kung hindi natin isali. Di ba meron didiscuss natin yung gross at saka net? Nung previous na mga part? Ha? Okay. Kung hindi natin isali yon, ibig sabihin, column load lang yung kasali dito sa pag-compute natin. Ang makukuha natin dito ay net pressure. Net pressure coming from the column load only. Okay. So, kung walang uplift, trabezoidal yung ating stress diagram. Ganito yung shape niya. Pag anon. Ito, of course, obviously, malaki dito yung stress kaysa dito. Ha? Kaysa dito. Okay? So, kasi kung meron siyang uplift, then, ano siya? Uh, lagpas siya, then that will have attention. Okay? But alam natin na yung, yung soil cannot resist cell stress. So, mag-iba yung ating, the manner we, compute, we will compute that. Anyway, proceed tayo. So, we have here, uh, Q1, ito yung malaki, ito yung Q2. So, since walang uplift, we can use the combined stress, axial and bending formula. Ito, ito. Okay, di ba? Galing ito sa P over A plus and minus MC over I. Itong first term here is the direct load. 
Okay, P divided by area. That's the stress due to P. Yung second term is the stress due to moment. Moment about the y-axis. Kaya 6M, kasi rectangular ito. 6M over BD squared. Okay, LB squared. Okay, tanong, baka magtanong kayo, Sir, bakit B yung in-square mo? Bakit hindi L? Do you have that problem? Bakit hindi L ang in-square mo? Okay, kasi yung moment natin, ito yung axis natin. Diba? So, kumbaga, kukunin mo yung moment of inertia about the y. We will not be using the moment of inertia about x kasi yung moment natin ay nasa y. So, my tayo or iy yung gagamitin mo. Diba? Ano ba yung iy? Uh, BD cube over 12. LB cube over 12. So, meaning, yung i-raise to power mo, itong nasa, itong, itong perpendicular sa ating y-axis. Had the moment where here, pag ganun, pag, kung pag ganito sa ni moment, uh, that will be BL squared. So, ito, pag ganun yung moment, kaya LB squared. Ang instruction ko to sa review, kasi maraming, maraming talagang nalilito. Ito na lang yung ibibigay ko na ano dyan. Kung saan parallel yung moment, yung drawing mo ng moment, kung saan siya parallel, here, parallel siya dito sa B, yun ang square mo. Yan. Maraming nakakuha na. When I did it that way, Lo and behold, lumaki agad yung statistics doon sa ano. Kasi sa review namin, meron kami statistics. We analyze the result of the exams. And out of that, we try to imagine, ano ba yung mindset ng students? We need to do that. Hindi lang yung pwede ng exam, bigay yung score, yun lang, wala na. So that's part of our job sa, as a review center. Ina-analyze namin yung ano ba yung ano nila, reaction nila dito. So we, we, we really need the statistics. Ha? Yung ilan yung nakakuha ng letter A, B, C, ganun yung magandang, yung ginagawa namin sa review. Anyway, tuloy tayo. Okay, sige, sa picture muna natin yung mga values. Ha? So, mamaya na lang natin isipin kung alin saan gamitin yung plus and minus. Ha? So, 1,300 yung P, yung B natin, okay, dimension, 2, 6M, M, and forget about the sign. Yung sign dito, it's just indicative on the direction, kung saan siya directed. So since we adapt a clockwise positive, so the net moment is directed in a counterclockwise rotation. So wag na din, wag yun na dalhin yung sign. Ah, okay, six m over b. Okay, l b squared. Okay, so solving each term, so one forty seven ito, a one forty point five seven ito naman ay fifty. Well, obviously, malaki yung q one. So if you want to get the maximum, ayo yung the plus sign. That will give you your maximum net. Soil pressure. Alright? And uh, minimum, it will be minus yung gagamitin mo. Ayan. So, yung dalawang yan ay net soil pressure. Okay? Nakuha nyo. So, yan yung net. Ayos. So, again, important thing here is the moment na gagamitin mo dito. Ha? Tinan nyo ha? Itong moment in this formula is not of the columns moment. It is the moment about the centroidal axis of the Puting. Kasi puting naman yung... Sino ba yung naka-rest doon sa soil? Colombo or puting, di ba? Puting naman yung may contact doon sa soil. Ha? Uh, marami kasing nagka-debate dito. Ba't daw yung M dito, hindi yung M itong ginamit. Ito sa column to, which is... Ikanina natin, no? drawing natin, nasa column. Galing sa column reaction. Ang concern natin ngayon sa, sa puting mismo. Okay. Now, how will you get the gross? So, next yan. To get the gross, just add the overburden all the materials weight above that layer. Yan yung definition ng overburden. A more general definition. Huh? Okay. The, the, the pressure due to uh, the, the, the pressure due to materials overlying uh, uh, above the layer. Alright. So the, the overburden pressure, tawagin lang natin QO, that will be the pressure due to concrete plus the pressure due to soil. The pressure due to concrete is 24 times 0.7 and due to soil is 18 times, okay, 2.2 minus 0.7. So, ito yung overburden natin, due to concrete and the soil. Okay? So, i-add natin yan dito. So, kung maximum lang yung habol natin, uh, maximum na lang yung kukunin ko, ha? So, 199 plus the overburden and that is 243.31 kilopascals. Okay? Nakuha nyo? Ha? So, ito yung soil lang to ha? Ah, ah, tanong nyo, lumalabas ba yung exam? Isa ito sa paborito ng examiner. Ito, variation lang itong problem na to ah, Variation lang itong mga problem na ito. Uh, 
Siguro kung manood ka ng manood ka ng video, makakakuha na kayo ng principle. Ito talaga yung pinaka-effective. Yung principle. Ha? Okay? So once again, I would like to invite you sa online review namin. We will start on June 1. Ha? June 1. So that's for 13 weeks. Kasi possibly, malabo pa tayo makakandap ng classroom review ngayon. Eh kung hindi naman tayo mag-review, eh baka kalawangin tayo. So, ayan. Okay? So, again, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned uh, a lot sa video natin. Don't forget to subscribe sa YouTube channel namin. And please hit the bell icon para ma-notify kayo sa mga bagong videos namin. Okay? So, thank you so much.